Hey guys, Andy TV here with some more Pokemon Fire Red. Yeah, last episode we made it back here to Viridian City to challenge this gym. And no one knows who the gym leader is. Okay. Yeah, sorry, I'm a bit out of breath. I just went for a bit of a jog before this. So, yo, champ in the making. Yeah, last time we were ever gonna hear that. And this guy doesn't know the gym leader's identity. Huh, very weird. Yeah, all the... Yeah, most of the trainers here use ground types. There are a few in the gym that don't. Yeah. But, yeah, like this guy. Your Pokemon will cower at the crack of my whip. Okay. Yeah, this is one of the few trainers that don't use ground type Pokemon for some weird reason. Uses an Arbok. Which is very disappointing. Yeah, but since this is a ground type gym, most of the work here will be done by either uh, Breezy or Basil. Heh, <laughs> leftovers will cancel that damage. Psychic, and you go down. And uh, Bishop should be getting a look. And, uh, yeah, what you live. Not like it matters anyways. Okay then. Just use Surf and get this over with. And yay, Bishop leveled up. So, Tauros is next. Um, I'll let Bullet handle this. Just because Bullet is amazing. And yeah, this is probably the most Bullet is going to be doing in these fights, just taking care of things like this. Yeah, Tauros... I don't know, I always thought its sprite in this game looked really weird compared to its other sprites. I don't know. Might just be me, but yeah. Okay, next up... Oh, wait. Okay, switch my lead, and I'll have Bruce take care of this. And karate is the ultimate form of martial arts. Interesting. Okay, and a Machoke. Okay, Bruce can definitely handle this. Yeah, there's also a lot of this... Uh, a lot of the trainers in this gym have five Pokemon, so, yeah, time-consuming and stuff. Okay. And... You, hiding over there. Brilliant gym is closed, yes, I don't care. And it's a cool trainer with five Pokemon. This guy has a Sand Slash for one. A second Sand Slash. A Rhyhorn. A Nidorino. And a Nido King to top it all off. I would do a mirror match, but I don't feel like it. Because my Nido King is way better. Way better. Okay. Yeah. And something I want to point out, uh, right above this warp or not, one of these spin tiles, there used to be an item in the original red, blue, and yellow. It was a revive. Really weird, but yeah. Nope, not running out of steam at all. Wait, here's my lead. I think it might be Bishop, but yeah. Ooh, a Sand Slash. A Graveler. Nice. An Onyx. A Graveler. And a Marowak. So, yep. All ground types. Very, very nice. But very, very easy. Because a lot of ground types in this game have low special defense. 
which is why this gym is kind of easy. But yeah, anyways, let's switch my lead over to Breezy. Yeah, okay. You, you will die. Ooh, I'm a chop. Sucks. Hmm, I might get enough experience for a level up in this fight, actually. Um, no, I, I don't think I will. But, yep. Like I said, easy because Breezy had a sidekick. Oh, I, I, I did get the level up. Nice. Okay, then. Um, burn. Back to you. And you. Let's see. Who are those Tamer peoples? With a Rhyhorn. Bad. Bad idea. But I'll still stick with it. Just because I'm crazy like that. Okay, don't use a rock attack. Okay, then. I mean, a rock type move would have destroyed me, but whatever. Yeah, perfect harmony. What about harmonia? Like, and harmonia. Or whatever, like. Yeah, Anna was such a cool character in black and white, I don't care what anyone says. And five Pokemon. Marowak. Rhyhorn. A second Marowak. A Nidorina. And a Nido Queen. So, yeah. Just like one of the other cool trainers I fought earlier in this gym. So, yep, easy peasy. <laughs> Lost his grip. I'm not gonna say anything about that. So, what I'm going to do is fight this guy. He's the last trainer here other than gym leader. And he's the Karate King. Ooh, that's very nice. Let's see here. Like he has a macho, for one. So, let's just burn it with burn. I will never get over that name pun. Never, ever. And, okay, this guy downgrades to him a chop for whatever reason. Okay, fine by me. And, what's next on my choke? Okay. So, yeah. Easy fight is easy. And... Nice, level 47. I like that. And Pokemon League. Okay, I have my... I have a shot of winning. Okay, and I'm gonna put Basil in the lead for the gym leader just because I think Basil's gonna be doing the most work here. But now it's time to see who this mysterious gym leader really is. Whoa. It's Giovanni. So the leader of Team Rocket is the last gym leader. What a plot twist. Fwahaha, welcome to my hideout. It shall be so until I can restore Team Rocket to its former glory. <laughs> you lost your glory because of being beaten by me. But you have found me again. So be it. This time, I'm not holding back. Once more, you shall face Giovanni, the greatest trainer. So, we have the last gym leader here. 
and he starts things off with a Rhyhorn, so I chose right with starting with Basil, and I'm just gonna kick things off with a Petal Dance, just because I'm taking advantage of the four times weakness here. What's next? Um, another Rhyhorn. Sure, let's keep Basil out. She's in the middle of a uh, Petal Dance anyways. And, oh, level 50, so this is his ace, actually. Which is kind of weird that his strongest Pokemon is unevolved. Why, well, I think that's his ace. Okay, and time to send out Breezy for Dugtrio. So, yep, Dugtrio has all ground-type attacks in this game, I think. Oh, critical. Yeah, Dugtrio is threatening, just because of how fast it is, and I think it has Arena Trap for its ability, but it doesn't matter, it went down. And Nidoqueen. Okay, then you're gonna go down to a Surf, then. Nice. We should... I don't think Nidoqueen's going to survive. Nope. Nice. What's next? Nido King. You know what? I'm gonna throw out Bishop for this. Yeah, so that Rhyhorn was his ace. But yeah. Let's see. Secret Power is gonna be my best. Oh, wait, wait, wait. This Nido King is Earthquake. No! I think I lost this mirror match. Did I? I'm switching this instant. You know what? I didn't know this thing's gonna use Earthquake, so... Yeah, I predicted that. So let's just end this with a Flamethrower. Yeah, that's how, that's how you do it. Uh, that was truly a, that was a truly intense fight. No, it wasn't. I mopped the floor with you. And that's our last badge, the Earth Badge. And nice. And now we we have all eight badges. We can challenge the Pokemon League and TM26. That's Earthquake. It's a very nice move. And I plan to teach this to Bishop. Having lost in this fashion, I can't face my followers. I have betrayed their trust. As of today, Team Rocket is finished forever. As for myself, I shall dedicate my life to training again. Let us meet again someday. Farewell. And just like that, he's gone. But, if you use the item finder here, nice little secret. We find an item. A Macho Brace. Okay, it's a weird item. It cuts your speed in half, but it doubles effort values that you get, and that's getting into competitive talk there, but yeah. Blow me away, Giovanni was a gym leader. Yes, he was. And now let's take the time to admire our eight badges. Yeah. And, you know what? I think I'm gonna end it off right here. So, yep, we took down the 8th gym leader here. So, yeah. Next episode, we're heading west of Viridian City. To the Pokemon League. So, see you guys next time.